Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I designed these buckets and 3D printed them. You can find the link up here in the iCard and in the info box below. They are printed on my uh, Anycupic Photon Mono SE uh, printer and um, then of course cleaned and they have been hardening in the UV light. Now I am just going to paint this little bucket on the outside. Uh, I found something that I could place the bucket on so that I had a bit of grip. And then I just went ahead and painted it on the outside. You can paint it in any color you like. Let the paint dry completely before you continue. I decided to sand this a tiny bit as it has a few bumps in the paint that I did not like. So I sanded it and then I actually painted it one more time on the outside. I did clean it up with a baby wipe before I painted again. Oh, and remember to wear a mask while sanding this because the dust is um, dangerous for your lungs. So please uh, don't do this without a mask on there. And then I'm just using my Vallejo red paint to paint this little guy again. Then when that paint has dry, I am going to paint it on the inside here. It's just easy to pop a little red paint into the bottom of the bucket and then just use that to paint the whole inside of the bucket. So I'm just taking my time. I actually think I painted this one twice inside as well as I did it on the outside. When the paint has fully dried, I am placing the bucket back here on my holder. That is actually my taggy glue, but it's working perfect as a holder. And I'm using my Fimo glaze here to glaze the outside of the bucket. Then I leave it to dry. And when it's all dried up, I am glazing the inside of the bucket as well. Now while the bucket is drying, I am using my Dremel machine here with some thin wires because I want to make the handle of the bucket. So I'm taking off quite a large piece of this wire. Well, more to say a long piece of wire. I'm bending that on the middle and the two ends here I'm putting into this little piece that goes into my Dremel. And I'm going to place this into my Dremel, just like that, and putting the cap on. And that was a bit tricky, but I'm placing the cap back onto my Dremel and making sure it is really tight on there. Like that. And then I'm making sure the threads are sitting really good in there and they did. So I am finding the loop in the other end and placing my plier here in the loop like you see here. And then I'm just going to turn on my Dremel in a low setting and it's li like twisting the wires really, really fast. And I get this nice long straight twisted wire that is a little more sturdy than it was before. Then I am going to take my uh, tacky glue again because it has the perfect circumference for the handle of this little bucket. So I'm shaping it um, into the roundness that I want this handle to have and I'm cutting it into the length that it needs to be. With a flat nose plier, I am just bending the ends of this little handle thing so that they can go through the small loops that is made on the bucket. I'm just cutting this into a smaller length. Then I just place it on the bucket and I am going to carefully bend this little stick upwards so that it is uh, staying in place. 
Uh, and I had to cut a tiny bit more of these because I wanted the handle to be able to fall down the side of the bucket. So your bucket is actually all done, but I decided to decorate it a tiny bit and I'm using these nail arts stickers. Uh, this is water decal paper. So you remove the little plastic bit on the front and you put a tiny bit of water on the back until these decals um, lift off from the paper or slide off the paper and then you can take it and place it on your little bucket where you want to. So I'm just gonna do this here and there on the little bucket. So when you have the pictures on your bucket then you only need to leave it to dry and then the bucket is all done. If you don't have these water decal nail art decoration, that was a long word, then you can use um, some paint and decorate it with a few flowers instead. That is all for the video today. I'm sorry it's that short, but that's it. And I will see you next week. Happy crafting.